What is going on YouTube and welcome back to another episode. Today is a uh, very nice day. It's not super duper hot, which is thank goodness for that. We've had such such a heat wave around here that I really don't even want to come outside. I don't care if there's AC in my garage or not. I just don't want to come outside and do anything. And uh, some of you guys will be okay with that. Some of you guys will be like, oh yeah, whatever. Uh, but anyway, uh, today on this episode, we're gonna be working on Sapphire like we have been in the past. So if you guys watched a little bit of the last video here, I did change off the valve cover and I did powder coat this, this valve cover. And uh, it came out really, really good. Polished the letters here. Did this valve cover in silver and now this car, it smokes a little bit, which is really weird because I had this on unpowder coated and uh, it didn't smoke. Well. Maybe I, I think I know why. Honestly, when I uh, when I replaced these these lines back here, the breather lines, I put a little uh, oil on so that like it would actually it would actually just go in, not uh, it would just slip right on, slip right on. So today, what we're gonna do is uh, I really want to clean up the interior of this car. It has been a pain, and I'll show you exactly what we're what we're talking about here. So a couple of things I really really want to get done. <clears throat> So if you can tell here, you can see that uh, there is nothing on the front of this car, and uh, then I have tent on the back. So this is the this is the the, the door that I got, uh, used door that I got, but it's got tent on it, just like the rest of the other three windows. There's two windows there with with uh, with tent, and then we got the back window. The back window I'm probably not going to really worry about, but these two other went three other windows is uh, gonna be my priority, see, it's dark. So, uh, and if you look at this here, look at all the carpet, it's just, it just looks, it looks haggard, you know what I mean? I wanna take all of this apart over here, since this does have a really nice radio, uh, a long, very, very, very long time ago, I told you guys, it was a very nice radio, and uh, I wanted it for myself, honestly. I really do want it for myself, so uh, I'm gonna take the whole dash apart, remove that radio, move everything else, and uh, I'm gonna put it over to the side for right now. And then uh, when I start working on Ivy, I'll pull the radio out of that and transfer everything over. The main reason why is because Ivy's got the old school uh, double uh, single din head unit, and uh, not like I don't like it, but it's very old school, you see? Very old school, single deck, uh, has a uh, the HVAC stuff right here. Whereas in that car over there, Sapphire, everything is down here, which is awesome. I really don't keep much in here except for my wallet, but I usually put my wallet in here, if anything, uh, when I drive this car. So it's really not that big of a deal. I actually keep my wallet in there for the Evo 10 as well. So this, all of this here is gonna have to come out of Sapphire and then I will replace it with the stuff I have in Ivy. So, but yeah, uh, two things that I wanna, I wanna show you guys that I'm gonna be working with here. So I've had this old school, like when I say old school steamer, it's, I think it's, oh, uh, Eureka, it's a Eureka steamer. So this is by far the best way to get off uh, any kind of tent or anything sticky because it actually uses steam and uh, to get to heat up all that glue and stuff and it won't be an issue there will be no uh nothing in there that will be a problem and it won't stick to anything so there's a bunch of attachments that i have in here uh if you guys know i do have a cat so everything that i usually store my stuff in is uh in cat bins so it's just easier for me because we go through a lot of cat stuff a lot of cat litter uh so yeah everything that you see uh is all going to be in cat litter buckets uh, buckets so the first thing that you're probably gonna want to do is uh, definitely undo your uh, your battery, mainly because we're gonna be pulling the seat out of here. And uh, like I said before, I'm gonna be I'm probably gonna gonna pull the whole I'm gonna pull all of this off, or at least most of it. Uh, take this out, and then I'm gonna take the carpet out because the carpet is really grungy and obviously like vacuum it all out and do all that jazz. Uh, and then when we're ready to put everything back together and then I can start doing stuff, you know what I mean? Um, put these door, 
door things back on you know what i mean like i actually i actually got to make sure that these speakers actually work too so i don't want to put everything back together and then find out that uh these speakers that are in here don't work that would that would really suck uh mainly because let me tell you what in the evo 5 i do have a speaker out or two speakers out in the front and it really annoys the hell out of me so i'm gonna try to figure out that probably another day uh maybe during the winter time or something like that when i when i'm not really driving the car uh, so uh first things first remove the battery or on disconnect the battery and then we can get inside and actually do some of this stuff usually i would do it somewhere in here i'd probably move ivy out and then i move the gtr out and do this in here but it's so nice outside well the sun wasn't blazing hot but now it's kind of it is still cloudy still cloudy and the sun is trying to peek out so uh but yeah it, i mean it is what it is so let's let's just get to it all right so let's go <laughs> people so took me uh maybe 15 minutes or so but look at look at the state of this it is uh we got some stuff in here Ooh, ooh. got a couple couple dimes a couple pennies yeah we are rich now rolling in it well all right so yeah we got vape stuff we got stuff everywhere so what I'm gonna do is uh, take a couple minutes here and uh, I'm going to uh, clean this bad boy. I'm gonna take a uh, vacuum to it, then probably uh, proceed with my uh, brush and my gun. And uh, yeah, try to clean up as much as I can. Since the sun is out, like I can actually like do a pretty good cleaning on it and uh, let it sit out here for a minute. Cause we have uh, this, I don't know, it's like, carpet carpet cleaner and stuff so yeah i might just do that not exactly sure you can see that power line for that amp so it's got a pretty big amp uh in the trunk there i'm not exactly sure what i'm gonna do with that but i tell you what i am i am sweating already i'll tell you that much right now but i do have the uh, carpet out and uh, hopefully it doesn't rain even though it the sun came out and you can see over there it's darker now but uh but yeah, I have everything out. I do have the uh, steamer going, so hopefully uh, the steamer is uh, is good. Uh, hold on one second. So I listen to uh, podcasts every day whenever I'm out here. If it's not ours, uh, if you want to check that out, it is the Cars and Comedy Podcast. Shameless plug there. But uh, two of my couple friends and uh, my wife, we have a podcast and we talk about car stuff, car-related stuff, and we just have fun. So hence the cars and comedy podcast but uh but yeah let me see if this thing actually uh is actually good let's see yeah see it's not it's not even it's not even hot oh it's hot but it's not coming out so i don't know what's going on there but all right give me a couple minutes i'm gonna clean this uh clean this thing up real quick off camera and uh see what i can actually do and probably try to get it in vacuum do all that jazz you know what i mean while i'm off camera probably pull all these pull all these because uh, i'm gonna be doing all this stuff with the uh um with the steamer getting all that stuff out so uh but yeah give me a couple minutes i'll be right back all right ladies and gentlemen folks so it's been a couple it's been a little bit and the sun is like it's beating me down like pretty bad so uh i want to show you the inside here 
It's a lot more cleaned up than it was before. I vacuumed it all out. There's a couple nuts and bolts here because uh, I'll show you what, what's going on on the other side. I pulled the radio and the HVAC controls and uh, you could tell whoever was in here before, man, they just, they just butchered all of this stuff. Like there's, this is the speaker controls here, but it comes all the way down here. Why? No idea. There's wires that are cut here. Like I have no idea what in the world is going on. So I did pull that big fat positive cable out and the, uh, the dual, what do you want to call that? Um, uh, you know, like how to control the speakers and whatnot, left and right, all, you know, aux cable. I don't know what the hell it's called. The blue, blue lines that are going to the amplifier. But while I was doing that, I did get my heater, uh, my steamer, and I did, I did do these two windows and they came out really good. So I did this one and I did that one up front and uh, they came out really, really good. So the uh, there is a trick to this and I will show you guys right now and we'll probably just go on camera here and I'll just try to I'll just try to show you guys what, what's going on. So the first thing first, fill your bad boy up with water and uh, I filled mine up and you need this uh, this squeegee squeegee attachment right here. It works the best for uh, doing tinted windows and such. And uh, on this case, with this this thing, just kind of attach it, attach it uh, however you can, because uh, the head really doesn't turn that much. Ooh. The head doesn't turn that much, so uh, you want to kind of make it so that uh, you can actually you can actually get this bad boy on. Uh, I gotta move my gotta move my stuff here. Uh, there is a. It, it really doesn't take that long. Well, it doesn't take super duper long, but uh, it does take a little bit and some finesse here to actually get it. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to work so that you guys can see, and uh, we'll just go from there on camera. I'll show you guys exactly how to do this. And then uh, once I start peeling, then I'll start to go to B-roll after that because uh, it shouldn't be that bad. So I'm gonna start over here on this side. Now just remember it's gonna be super hot just because it is really hot water, steam. Once you've done this for a little bit, you want to go for a corner here. Having something like a fingernail, you know, something sharp or something like that would definitely help in this first part. Trying to get this thing up is by far the hardest part. Now you can see, I have this corner here, and now you can just start going to work. As you can tell, there is a couple spots, a couple spots over there where uh, I pulled off the film a little bit too fast, but uh, it's really not that big of a deal. With the uh, 
you know, with the steamer, you can actually go through and actually clean it as well. So I'm gonna do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, folks. So let me let me take you off this bad boy. So look at that. It is. Uh, oh, I missed a spot. So I'll go, I'll go over and I'll look uh, again. But if you can tell, I only I only missed two spots. One here, one here. But there was a big piece here, a big piece here. So that's how you get off window tint without killing yourself with a scraper. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty good. So I'm gonna finish up uh, the uh, that little little tiny window there. Cause uh, this is this is about the same kind of pain. Uh, you just peel it up like you would anything else. Couple corners, uh, peel it up, and then uh, it should be pretty good to go as soon as you get your steamer going. So pretty easy, one, two, three. But uh, I still need to uh, scrub this carpet because uh, this carpet still looks dingy. So I'm gonna give it a quick scrub. Well, not a quick scrub, but a scrub, and then uh, we can go from there. So. Let me get that done and then uh, I'll cut back and we'll, we'll, we'll get back to it. So let's go. All right, everybody. So I have a wifey out here helping me out. But uh, yeah, we got the, uh, the carpet. It's pretty, looks a lot better than it did before. I'll tell you that right now. But uh, we're over here and I'm trying to, trying to make sure that I chase all these wires for the speaker stuff. And uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be something that I'm gonna have to do a little bit later. But uh, I think we're just about ready to start putting the, most of the interior back in. Uh, the plan is to try to get all four door cards uh, cleaned and uh, put up, ready to go. We're gonna try to get uh, the back seat. I was thinking about putting the back seat on. Uh, but if I put the back seat on, then I, I won't. I probably won't be able to get out this this head headliner. Uh, that is is something that I really want to try to get and uh, either take apart or whatever because this checkerboard thing is not. This is not it. You know what I mean? So I want to try to get that taken care of too. Uh, there was a you know it needs a new cabin air filter in here. I took that out. So I'm just gonna have to go and buy one. Uh, should be like 10 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that. But uh, yeah, we can put this carpet back in and you know, and we can start to move forward from there. Uh, but yeah, it's just gonna take us a little bit, like I said before, we're gonna get all the door cards in and then uh, we should be good from there. Uh, I don't know, like I said before, I don't know if I'm gonna put all the seats in, but the, uh, the glass looks really freaking good, I'll tell you that. So for a long ass time, uh, I haven't really been able to open up the windows when I take my car this at least for a test drive but i haven't been able to take it for a test drive uh with the doors open so i i have the sunroof open so i drive with the sunroof open but now that i have and uh can i'll be able to put all the door cards in uh, i should be able to uh open up the windows and such so uh that's uh what do you want to call that that steamer whenever i was cracking the steamer open got stuff everywhere so i got to clean the car again it's not that big of a deal but uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna well not stop the video but i'm gonna put everything back together and see where we're at from there because everything just looks dirty and dingy and uh, i want to try to get everything together so uh i'll be back whenever we get some uh whenever we make some progress so be right back all right ladies and gentlemen folks so as you can tell behind me the sun is setting me and wifey she's sitting over here and uh she's she's been at work with me and uh yeah i want you to check something out here look at look at the back of this now, when I tell you that this was really spotty oils and stuff like that, it was really bad then. She, uh, she crushed it, crushed it. So we do have a box of stuff that we still need to put in the car. I took out that amp. It was behind this panel here, which is ridiculous. Like I took out all the wiring and all that jazz, but yeah. Uh, now I want you to look in the inside here and man, oh man, it's locked. <laughs> well, that one's locked anyway. Uh, but yeah, I want you to see we did everything in here and it looks fantastic. I mean, oh, this, this front one doesn't have a lock, locking pin thing, but the seats are in, fronts, rears, and they look really, really good. The rears we picked up a while ago, um, so yeah, they, they look really good. 
We put the carpet back in, we put everything back in. The only things that we have to worry about is the radio. All of this stuff is all together. Well, for the most part, it's all together. Uh, we still have, I still have, I have to source a, uh, a cigarette uh, thing there. I think we're just gonna hold off on doing the, uh, the the top here only because I don't think it looked I don't I didn't really know how I felt about it but it doesn't look that bad uh, it's really hard to kind of tell but uh, yeah it's the checker flag thing uh, but it doesn't look bad at all the uh, everything is is really good in here now so I think what we're gonna do is uh, wrap up the night and uh, since everything is kind of done uh, man oh man it looks really good I'm very happy with it. And now we can actually start to uh, look at this paintwork and try to get this guy to actually do these things. Uh, I do have, I do have a set of wheels that I'm doing for this, uh, so that's going to be uh, in a future video. As soon as I get the uh, the color and all that stuff, it should be pretty good. I left, like I said before, I left the back glass uh, tinted. I'm not going to even touch it because I really don't want to mess around with it. Uh, but I think the car looks really good without any tint to be honest with you I'm one of those people that is I'm not a tint guy. You know what I mean? And, and if I do tint, it's really 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 light. So uh, I'm just gonna not really worry about it. but Yes, that's neither here nor there. So hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, It was a very long video with a lot of stuff going on with it But hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did uh, Please throw me a comment down below let me know how I'm doing. Let me know how you like my videos. If you don't like my videos, let me know how, how what I can do. And uh, I'll just see you guys on the next one. All right? Deuces.